Welcome back, everybody, to the Commentary Cloud. I'm, I mean, uh, the Crows of Judgment. I am the Comic Crows Crow Grow Origami, and today we're going to be talking about, you know, the Deji subbotting situation. Now, I'm not here to neither confirm nor deny that Deji is actually subbotting. You know, we're going to talk about the situation. I'm just here to speak on it. You can come to your own conclusions at the end of it. And uh, we will be referencing some of Kalo's material as source material, since he's actually, like, laying the groundwork for most of this stuff. Anyway, let's get on with it. First and foremost, let's go over the policy that you YouTube has engaged for subbotting. This will be the fake engagement policy. YouTube does not allow anything that artificially increases the number of views, likes, comments, or other metric either through the use of automatic systems or by serving up videos and unsuspecting viewers. Additionally, content that solely exists to incentivize viewers engagement, views, likes, comments, etc. is prohibited. Content and channels that don't follow this policy may be terminated or removed from YouTube. So essentially the claims are that Deji has subbotted to get to the 10 million mark. That is up for debate. Like I said, come to your own conclusions on that aspect. Some substantial amount of proof did come out on Kavos' end, but speculation is still in the air. The problem is, now that Deji's back into a corner, he cannot confirm nor deny the fact. Well, he can deny, and he has been denying, but he can definitely not confirm, because if he does, he's under the grounds of having his channel terminated. He could get booted from YouTube for this. I originally had a different plan to do this video, However, it's just not working out. I cannot get this, uh, I can't get this, uh, special guest to appear. But if I manage it, there'll be a follow-up to this video. Let's take a look at some of Kavos's points and proof that he has to offer. Uh, on the 24th of March to the 29th of March, he apparently gained 40k subs in six days. Now his viewership, just under 500k views the first day, just under 500k views the second, 350k views the third, 360k views the fifth. These are not enough views to garner that many subs. 300,000 views not get you 10,000 subscribers. Freeway Social, a website that provides subscribers, botted subscribers to channels, has exposed Deji for buying subscribers to hit 10 million with proof anal. This man here runs Freeway Social and Deji was one of his clients. Now he doesn't normally expose his clients, which I guess makes sense since he wouldn't have a business if he kept doing it. But Deji has been disputing payments from him because he's been losing so many subs because botted subs couldn't save him. Now let's go through this video. Firstly, he shows that from the 22nd of March, Deji bought 10k subscribers and on the next day the 23rd of march he bought 40k subscribers resulting in over two thousand dollars worth of botted subs what's up guys this is thomas from freewaysocial.com many were wondering how did deji got those 50,000 youtube subscribers and reached 10 million subscribers milestone i can confirm that he bought those subscribers and I can confirm that because he bought them from privysocial.com, which is run by me. Okay guys, so as you can see, there were two orders placed by Comedy Shorts Gamer, as I have already filtered out the orders. On 22nd of March, there was an order placed on Freeway Social website for 10k YouTube subscribers. As you can see, client specified Comedy Shorts Gamer YouTube channel. Deji placed another order on 23rd of March for 40k subscribers. So in my last video, we showed that the email that was used to buy the botted subs was property22 at btinternet.com. Email used to purchase the botted subs as shown in Freeway Social's video was the email property22 at btinternet.com. Now we showed the recovery emails linked to that email was Deji's mum's email people did some digging and found out that the recovery email for that account that specific account that was probably created just to buy subs was an email that was linked to deji's mum yinka we proved it keemstar has confirmed it is actually the email however if you don't believe this if you don't believe that it is deji's mum's email well property 22 at btinternet.com is in fact one of deji's business emails protected shield limited and if you go on people you can clearly see that the director of this company is deji this is deji's real estate business as the nature of the business reads it's a letting and operating of owned or leased real estate and now if you go and look at deji's real estate you will find property 22 right there 
plain as day in front of everyone public information by the way you know i think i'm gonna blur out the rest of the address because this is a real estate business and i implore anyone because this information is public knowledge who finds this address because i know people look it up do not send anything or any harassment anything near this address because it's probably just a normal person who doesn't even know deji who's renting this house to live in. Now, the reason I'm even making this video, because it's pretty much old news at this point, is because of something specifically that Deji said, that he never likes to be caught up in drama. He doesn't look for it. It looks for him. It finds him. You say, I look for drama. It comes and finds me. I don't want it, man. However, jumping into this Keemstar exposed thing right now to gain, kind of jumping into some drama. Remember, Deji, you're kind of in hot water. It's probably best to not engage in some of this stuff. Lay low for a little bit. But hey, man, it's your channel. You could do what you want. I'm not really anyone to tell anybody what to do. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Deji is subbotting? Do you think he's not subbotting? What do you think of the proof that was presented? Let me know. Let Crow know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, subscribe, or not. Whatever. Do what y'all like. Adios.